there, I'm Dr. Charles Livingston, CEO and co-founder of Life Boost Coffee. Conventional coffee is among the most heavily sprayed and treated foods in the world. It's steeped in synthetic fertilizers, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, and insecticides. In order for conventional coffee growers to capitalize on their profits, they plow down and they flatten giant fields as well as use chemicals to mass produce their coffees. One study showed that over 91% of coffee samples they tested were covered in mold. Other studies have estimated over 99% of coffee worldwide is tainted by toxins. Not only is this a major concern for your health, especially if you're one of the billions who drink coffee on a regular basis, but these methods for growing and mass producing coffee are also detrimental to the environment. As a co-founder of a coffee company, these statistics within the coffee industry are shocking and need to change. We here at Life Boost Coffee have dedicated ourselves to producing healthy, delicious coffee through sustainable methods, with our goal being to leave both our customers healthier, as well as maintaining and supporting the environments and land essential for future generations. In this video, I want to go through what I mean by sustainable coffee growing methods, as well as why we should care about how the coffee is grown and how it's sourced. Let's dive into how coffee is traditionally grown, known as industrial farming versus the methods of using sustainable farming. Industrial farming practices are what many think of when referring to farming in general. Here in America, we have grown accustomed to seeing large mass market fields full of same crops season after season. While industrial farming produces more coffee at a fast rate, it also compromises the health and the quality of the coffee or the crops which customers consume. In industrial farming, production costs will dictate the heavy use of chemical fertilizers, pesticides, and herbicides used on the coffee plants throughout their growth cycles. In countries where industrial farming practices are widely incorporated, records show distressing amounts of agricultural chemicals in everything from soil and water supplies to actual human blood and tissue samples. Not sure whether these pesticides carry over into your coffee after it has been processed? 2015 study showed that 93% of Americans have the chemical herbicide Roundup human carcinogen in their urine. In addition to the chemicals used to mass produce coffee, industrial farming practices also result in the rapid rate of deforestation in order to create large open fields effectively eliminating biodiversity in these regions. While industrial farming is the most commonly used method to produce crops and coffee, sustainable farming methods do a much better job protecting the wildlife, land, plants, as well as communities in the regions where the coffee is grown. Sustainable farming removes the use of chemicals and pesticides from the process and uses the biodiversity of the region to its advantage, protecting the future of the land as well as supporting the indigenous plant life and ecosystems as a whole. Here's what I mean by using a biodiverse ecosystem to benefit the farming of a crop. One example of leveraging biodiversity is by growing a variety of crops in one area to provide both shade for surrounding plants as well as the natural environment for birds and insects. This also increases the nutrient density of the soil. Another example would be how birds, insects, and other native wildlife can be utilized in sustainable farming as a natural form of pest control, which is why sustainable practices do not need to turn to using harmful chemicals and contaminating crops. While sustainable farming practices have a significant impact on the environment, such as reducing water pollution in surrounding areas, preserving soil quality, creating habitats for pollinators, not to mention producing less greenhouse gas emissions, sustainable farming also has a positive effect on the economy and the nutrition of the crops consumed. Don't believe me? Sustainable farming can significantly change the growth and economy of rural areas where most farming takes place. For example, with sustainable farming, the quality of the crops increases, allowing farmers to earn a better wage due to a more valuable product. Additionally, as the pests are reduced naturally and the crops are also fertilized naturally, costs from chemical intervention are removed entirely. When it comes to nutritional benefits, sustainable farming is proven to produce more natural crops where consumers are not ingesting harmful pesticides, herbicides, and fertilizers. Here at Life Boost, we believe in working with farmers who work hand in hand with naturally occurring environmental processes to ensure that our coffee is sustainably grown. We support these practices in an effort for, to protect our land for generations to come. We also participate in other measures to protect the plants and animals that live in our coffee growing regions by supporting the Rainforest Trust, as well as organizations such as Project Alianza to support rural coffee communities through education and skills development. Providing you with a clean, healthy, and delicious cup of coffee is our priority at Life Boost, but it's not our only priority. By using sustainable farming methods and supporting organizations like the Rainforest Trust, we commit to doing our part to protect the future of the population, the plant and plant growth potential.